Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Abyss 3D! And when last we left off, Everhale had moved further into the town cemetery, into the garden, and was now in the mausoleum grounds, ready to go in and see if Nemesis is, in fact, not dead dead, but just mostly dead. And unfortunately, we need a key to do that. So it's time to go and search for that key, through all these hidden walls, that are really, really susceptible to flames if they blow up with a single spell. But that's alright, because we're going to go and move and see what we can find. For instance, skeletons here that are going to start being very sneakily placed around corners. Which is really, really sneaky. These are a set of forgotten and musty corridors, full of dead skeletons. There we go. Which is, uh... Not great, we need to be very careful here, because I think, oh, there are a lot of them here, but we're still not going to use our zappers yet. We need to uh, save them for as long as we can. There'll be far nastier enemies to come. Ah, there's one there, hello. We need to be very careful. Oh, oh, turn around quickly, turn around quickly. There we go. That is what the quick turn is for, to make sure that you can uh, easily deal with these foes. There is a key here, which makes it very worthwhile coming this way. There we go. Moving on. Down this way, back the way we came. There are a few places we could explore. There's no way down there, though. There's probably a wall. There we go. A wall there that we can destroy. There's no wall down there we can destroy. There's going to be another gem around somewhere that we need to go and find. Hello! How are you, Mr. Skeleton? You are now dead once more. And there is a zombie. I think this is the last level that we're going to see zombies. They pretty much peter out pretty soon, because they're not that dangerous. Alright, here are some more forgotten musty corridors that are probably going to be full of enemies, as they uh, often are these days. Anything around here? Ooh, there's something around here, maybe. Ah, there is something around here! There's a small selection of corridor this way. It might be worth looking the other way to see if there's uh, anything that way. Anything in here? A key! Excellent! We'll need that key. One of those keys will open the way to the, um, the end of the level, I think. The other way is, um, the other one's gonna open up something else completely different. Ah, there is a zombie. Hello! You are dead once more. This is indeed the Corridor of Death. I'm not sure why. Maybe people die in it? I'm gonna turn around very quickly. Ah, there is an enemy. I thought there might be. When they get very close, it does get a little bit complicated in that sometimes you can't see them. Any more foes here? There's a zombie there, and I saw a skeleton. There's one, hello! Would you like to fight? I did not think that you did, but you did not have much choice. There's another zombie. Anyone else? No? I think I might have won here. Ah, this is a way we need to go. The- Oh, hello! You got a hit in. That was very sneaky of you. Anything in here? No. This is actually not the way uh, beyond. This is a way that you uh, go to get this gem. And there are a lot of skeletons in here, but we could defeat them with enough of our fireballs. We have no need for mana. We're just that awesome. Maybe you should actually try moving forward instead of just strafing. No? No, your plan seems to be completely um, revolving around strafing. Ah, well. We'll get all these here. Excellent. And that gem. Which means we now have two gems, which is very good. Two out of five is always nice. Let's see what's over here. Probably more enemies that I need to go and fight. Yep, more enemies. A lot more enemies. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. We're going to be fighting a lot more of you before this game is done. And I think even you will eventually be, uh, sidestepped for more dangerous foes. There are more dangerous foes. Far more dangerous. Alright, more skeletons. You wish to taunt me? You cannot taunt me! For I have fireballs. And 49 zappers. I'm gonna have a lot more zappers before this is over, trust me. A lot more. Let's go uh, very quickly down here, and turn around, because I do not trust that there won't be foes down here, but indeed there are no foes. In fact, we have everything that we need now to move on to the next area. I think there only is, um, 
these two small passageways. So we'll just uh, go this way and head back. Alright, there was nothing over here. Nope, nothing over here except the way we came. And so we shall move on. Back once more. Through the corridor. Oh, hello! One enemy that just very sneakily waited. You are indeed very sneaky. And there is uh, nothing around here again. I no, this is where we found a key. And we do not need this key. We need to move over here and enter into the mausoleum, I think. Seems like a great idea. Let's heal just in case. Into the mausoleum? Yes, indeed. You have arrived at the main floor of the mausoleum. And there's going to be a definite, um, change in our environment, because now we are indoors. And now, there are loads and loads and loads of paintings of Nemesis. Loads of them. We definitely caught his fiery doomness. And there is, uh, an enemy to greet us and say hello. The, uh, paintings here are the, um, the secret doors in this level. Oh, hello. And we have now encountered another enemy, and accidentally blew up a power-up. These are mages. Mages that have decided to join with Nemesis, because they are evil and magey. They also fire fireballs, and they don't take many hits to be destroyed, which is not bad. There we go. You are now dead. And that's what you get for joining forces with Nemesis. We just blown up tons of his statues to get, l or rather his uh, paintings. I wouldn't be surprised if he does have statues later to get access to this area here, which is just full of potions and more power-ups and more potions and more potions. You'd think that they'd use the potions, wouldn't you? But no, no, they don't. They just uh, they can tend to float around in enigmatic ways and just uh, get killed. Ah! As you can see, there are now no more zombies. It's all about skeletons now. We're going to be using our zapper eventually, though. We're definitely going to be using the zapper soon. Because there are a few areas that, uh, have need for them. Hello? You will not like the fact that I'm about to blow this up, but there's something behind it. There's a lot of things behind it. A lot of things indeed. Seems like four skeletons. But what was back here? More treasure! And even more treasure! And none of these blow up. None of them blow up at all. But it was always worth checking. By the way, do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? You should when you're in there. I think this is the way... Ah, hello! Wizards block the way! Fortunately, you can just get them with a longsword. 1d8 damage. They only have 1d4 hit points. Although they do have Boots of Levitation. And as you can see, these skeletons are marked with the yellow gem, which is nice. It does uh, indicate as to uh, which gem you're uh, using to uh, see them. There's another area here that we can open up. Hello! You are skeletons, who will now soon be dead. There's a lot of you. I think I might have got you all, though. We now have 59 zappers. We now have 60 zappers. And we have not yet used one. Let's open up this way, shall we, and get these mages. The mages will eventually shoot you. It's, uh, not great. You can avoid them if you're fast enough, but the damage really is not that, uh, significant. When there's a lot of them, though, the damage will get significant, especially if they are, uh, swarming you. Alright, this way leads to, uh, a key. I think this key is one that we need. Yeah, I think we need this key. I don't remember if there is a, um... I don't remember if there's a, um, area that you need to get a gem here. I don't think so. It would be a little early to go and grab a gem, wouldn't you say? But then again, the game has done stranger things, I imagine, than just throw gems at you. And that is not an area that blows up. I thought it was worth checking. Also, that is not something that blows up. Also worth checking. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done exploring this area. We've blown up that. We... Oh! Oh no! I tell a lie! There's this whole area over here. Which is the back area. Passage behind a wall. Yep! I think this is an area we need to explore because there might in fact be a gem here. You have tried to run, and you have made the place of enchanted cubes. Well, I'm just going to call it now. All of those cubes are going to have enemies in them. Absolutely all of them. Hello? 
Anyone else? Well, there's a treasure chest and, uh, nothing else at all. What about round here? Hello, Mr. Skeleton. You are now dead. And a healing potion and another zapper. Anything else? I do not think so. It might be time to try and, uh, experiment with these things. We'll blow this up here. And it's full of mages! I knew it! And it's also got a gem in it. So I was also right about that. Where are the uh, enemies? Oh, did I? I accidentally blew up another one, didn't I? Chain fireballs! Ha <laughs> ha! Face the power of my zapper! And that's what you use the zapper for. When you have way too many enemies to deal with, you just zap them all. It's a good plan. It's a brilliant plan. And I imagine there are more enemies in there. But there is a gem, which is always good. Any more enemies? Ah, yes. But these enemies are fine and easy. What about in here? Any enemies in here? No! There's one errant wizard, though. I know you were coming just to say hi, but I could not trust you. Mainly because all of your other colleagues have come around fireballs ablazing. Imagine if you'd have just blown this one up and just started unleashing fireballs. All of your loot would be gone. Excellent. Even better. Not bad at all. And the other one appeared to be empty. Or maybe I'd already opened it. Who knows? But I think we've pretty much explored everywhere we can now. So let's move on further into the mausoleum. Now the question is, are we heading up or are we heading down? We're about to find out. Pass this way. Oh yes, we have a date with destroying Nemesis. <laughs> the Crypt of Nemesis the Undead. That seems a little redundant. If he's undead, does he need a crypt? He's not, he's probably moving around and not doing anything. Ah, I think it's these um symbols on the walls that will be our uh, secret doors for this time. Let's test. Yep. Hello, Mr. Wizard. You can see they're already starting to place things in tricky locations. Basically, uh, tempting you to shoot without um, checking, which is not great. We're going to open this up here. You'll end up just mostly going around levels, not trying to find the exit. You'll be just trying to explore everything that you possibly can without blowing up more walls to uh, unleash more enemies. You really don't want to unleash more enemies. Ah, there's a skeleton. Very close to, very tall as well. If you know that when you're right next to them, they're far taller than we are. I wonder what the skeletons, um, how tall they originally were. Eight foot tall and deadly. Ah, hello. More wizards. How are you? You're dead. That's how you are. Any nice things in here? Ooh, there's an enemy. Probably tempting me to, uh, oh, I blew something up, didn't I? I only blew up a single zapper, though, which is nice. Didn't blow up the treasure chests, though. That's the important thing. We could use a potion, but it seems a little silly to use a potion right now. Let's go. Nothing here. Excellent. There are more places here we could blow up, though. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Ah, there appears to be two of you. Are you going to try and trickily flank me? This plan has a minor drawback. You have no idea what flanking is, it would seem. Oh, careful. You managed to sneak around and do some damage. The mages are very fast. I think you need the quick turn to take full advantage of... Oh, very tricky fireball there. Oh, well, this is not good at all. It would appear we have found somewhere. Hidden away. Hide in a corner, Petten. Kill everything. There we go. Yep, there appears to be a key here. There also appears to be an enemy somewhere over there. But we'll grab this key. Keys are always useful. There we go. Nothing to open here? No, nothing to open here. There is an enemy over there, though, that we're going to go and find. An enemy apparently over there and round here? Do we miss you? Oh, we did miss you! Hello! I'm back, don't worry. I may accidentally be opening up more areas, though. There's a scroll here, though. We'll open that. The sacrificial altar holds the key to the region below the crypt. Thank you. We've already found it, but it's nice to know that it's there. In fact, we've pretty much found a lot of stuff already. We've sort of just looped around. We 
could go this way. Does that open? No. Does this open? Probably. Hello, skeleton. How are you? You know, I can't tell if they're wearing helmets. They might be wearing helmets. Actually, I don't think they're wearing helmets. It does look a little like they might be, though. There we go. More stuff. Oh, need to be a little careful here. We do not want to blast any of that stuff. Oh, we are being surrounded. We need to quickly move, quickly turn. There we are. Much better. Where did that wizard go? You went over there. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people here. Zapper time! Ha <laughs> ha! I have no idea why you'd ever use the other um, spell, though. The one that just um, blasts around you. Unless you're completely surrounded. But you're better off just running into a corner then and uh, just um, shooting wildly that way. I have no idea why you'd use the other one. Alright, what was in here? Excellent. Nice. Lots of things in that one. Or maybe that was us grabbing both of them. But either way, still lots of nice things. What's over here? Evil motif of evil. Evil motif of evil. Evil motif of evil. I'm getting a feeling that Nemesis might be a little evil. I mean, I'm not quite sure why I'm getting that idea. Seems a little evil. Alright, what's in here? Probably more enemies. Yep, more enemies. And more enemies here. Maybe? Hello! Ah, yes, here is an enemy. I have come to get this loot. Please do not get in my way. You got in my way, and therefore, I got loot. Alright, I would have probably got the loot either way. Hello, Mr. Skeleton! Goodbye, Mr. Skeleton! We need to find more area. This is the area behind the altar room. Oh, there is an enemy right next to us, and I did not notice. I really should pay more attention to that auto map. It's a really helpful auto map. Another enemy there. No enemies behind us. Ah, there is an enemy behind us. I didn't even know. Just taking a lucky guess. But there may be a little area over here that's worth exploring. Anything around here? Yes, there is. Careful. Much better. Oh, I've accidentally unleashed wizards. Suddenly, you ever had one of those days where you've accidentally unleashed wizards? Today is one of those days. Ten o'clock, got toast, check the garden, accidentally unleashed wizards. There we go. Anything else around here? I think I might have pretty much nearly explored everything. Ah, hello, enemy that just uh, very sneakily appeared. With 37 healing potions, I think it's time to use one. But I think we might have explored everything. And knowing my luck, if I explored everything, I probably missed something very important. We'll just have one very quick look, because you can't go back. The way is always blocked. And the last thing you want to do is block yourself off from grabbing one of the gems. Although there are only five gems, once you've got them, that's it. You can just focus on getting to the exit. Unless you want to get the scrolls. The scrolls are nice. And there's no way to open that, and, uh... <laughs> You can't open that, and you can't open anything, it would seem. Nope. Excellent. Let's move on to here. We went round this corner. That Ah! Didn't open up this area, did I? It's always worth having a look, just in case. You never know. You might find something you missed. Like here. There's a fair bit here, actually. There's a lot here. What about here? Even more stuff. The meditation chambers. Does this open? No, it does not. But still, that was worth looking at because... Uh, oh, hello! There's this whole area down here that I missed. And this is why you've always got to check. You might miss things. Like all these statues of evil here. And this one. And that one. And this one. See, there's loads of areas I've not been to yet. Like this area that appears to have nothing in it. Oh, no, wait, it has something. It definitely has something. It has more zappers! Ha <laughs> ha! Zap indi- Ooh, it just loops around. How did I miss this before? That's a good question. I'm just like, no, I'm not going to go around there. Don't need to go around there at all. And then we missed loads of loot. Ha! <laughs> ah, let's go back to where we were, shall we? I think it was this way. 
I think it was this way, we had to go uh, behind the altar. And there was a way even further into the crypt, down into the darkness, the dark depths. The dark depths were not this way, they were this way. This way, and round a corner, and they were in this area. Ah, there we go. Just check. No, they are not um, areas we can go. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll descend even further into the depths of the dark crypt of Nemesis. Either Nemesis is waiting for us, or Nemesis is going to come back to unlife and be like, I'm finally back. Oh, no, not you again. And then he'll just die. I get the feeling that might be the running theme. It may be. Who knows? Also, is that an amazing collar, or is that his head just being on fire? With this picture, you can't really tell, even though I'm pretty sure it's fire. I like the idea, uh, the idea that it's a absolutely fantastic collar, but who knows? Also, that collar would be so fantastic, it garbled my words! So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.